Excuse oh, me. Fuck. Oh. Today we are in Kangaroo Valley, which is an absolutely beautiful place. It's got some amazing scenery, and we're looking for one of Australia's more strange animals. We're looking for the short-beaked echidna. Now there are four different species of echidna. You have the short-beaked echidna, which is found here in Australia, and you've got the three species of long-beaked echidna, which are found up in Papua New Guinea. One of these is even named after Sir David Attenborough, and it's so rare that some people believe that it might even be extinct. Amazingly, at the time of editing, a week ago, David Attenborough's echidna was found to be not extinct in a camera trap in Papua New Guinea. Incredible. Now, one of the most intriguing things about echidnas is they're one of only two mammals left in the entire world that still lay eggs. The other, of course, being the platypus, a bit more well-known, which we were lucky enough to actually find earlier in the year at Broken River. Why do they still lay eggs? Nobody is 100% sure. It's suggested that it's probably because of their water-based background. Why it's still here? I guess evolution just wanted it around. Echidnas are a crepuscular species, which means they're most active at dusk and dawn. So it's currently about half five in the afternoon, so they should just be waking up now. Currently at the time of recording, it is spring, and they're just starting to come out more and emerge more. So hopefully we might have a good chance of seeing them. This is a species that you're most likely going to find if you stay in one place for an area. You'll probably bump into one eventually at some point. Probably not the easiest animal to find just wandering about, but positive mental attitude, I'm sure we might find one. Kangaroo Valley, absolutely beautiful place, but the flies are killer. Check out my back. What is that? <laughs> Look at this. We actually found one. This is a short-beaked echidna. Look at those spines. They look just like a porcupine quill. Now, of course, this is quite a small one, so he's a bit worried of me at the moment, so I don't want to stay here for too long. Obviously, he's a bit intimidated by me. He's a bit scared, and you can see his natural response is to dig a bit. Look at that, his nose is sticking out. Now, he's quite a small one. They do get much bigger than this. And of course, as I said earlier, they are one of the only mammals on this planet that lay eggs. What they do is they lay a tiny little egg that goes into their pouch and it stays in there until it hatches. And their little babies are actually called puggles. How incredible is that? Look at him dig. Those claws that he has are just absolutely incredible. He is a Adorable. Now it is actually impossible to tell how many of these guys are left because they have such a huge range, the whole of Australia and even up into Papua New Guinea. It's estimated that there might be as little as 10,000 of these guys out in the wild, which is why it's so important that if you do see one, make sure to report it on apps like iNaturalist so that people can get better understanding of how many of them there might be. Absolutely incredible. Now, in the nicest way possible, these guys are kind of freaks of nature. There's so many interesting things about these guys. And one of them is they don't actually have a permanent pouch. They actually make their pouch when they're ready for their egg. How strange is that? They also don't have teats for the milk. The milk just comes from their skin for the little puggle to have when it's in the pouch. He is incredible. I think we'll call this guy Angus. As you'd expect, one of the biggest threats to these guys is us. Unfortunately, 
they get hit by cars all the time because they wander on roads and get flattened unfortunately which is why it's so important we have to help these guys but as you can see he's dug himself quite a hole and I don't think he likes me being here so I think I'll leave him alone for a bit Right, so I don't know how well this is going to turn up on camera but we were just walking home after seeing that echidna earlier and right on the other side of this fence is another one. What are the odds of that? We've seen two in one night. There I was thinking we might not even see one and we found two. Absolutely incredible. If you watched the video this far, thank you so much. It's absolutely incredible trying to find these guys. It's so rewarding. Such an incredible animal.